Lucky Tucker by Leslie McGurk. When Tucker woke up on St. Patrick's Day, he got off on the wrong paw. First, he had to go for a walk in the rain before breakfast. Then, his favorite squeaky toy got stuck under the couch. Just when he thought it couldn't get any worse, a black cat hissed at him. My luck needs to change, thought Tucker. What if I roll in this bed of clovers? Maybe their luck will rub off on me. Little did he know that he was being watched by a leprechaun. You just rolled in my bed of four-leaf clovers, the leprechaun said. Now you'll be the luckiest dog around. And off he ran. Tucker chased after the leprechaun, but he got sidetracked when he saw a boy licking an ice cream cone. The top scoop was about to fall off. Tucker made the catch. Wow, what a lucky dog, the boy said. By now, the leprechaun had disappeared, so Tucker decided to go to the dog park. Today was his lucky day. He got to play and wrestle with all his best friends. On his way home, Tucker passed by the bakery that sold homemade dog biscuits. Aren't you a lucky dog, Tucker, said the baker. I've got a peanut butter shamrock, a chicken-flavored pot of gold, and a cheese-flavored horseshoe just for you. When Tucker arrived home, the mailman was delivering a big box. You are the luckiest dog I know, the mailman said, because this box is for you. Tucker tore open the box and jumped inside. His owner said, Lucky Tucker, you were supposed to have a bath tonight, but let's play with your new toys instead. Finally, it was time for Tucker to go to bed. It was his luckiest day ever. He was already dreaming about next St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for joining Mrs. Lindsay for Lucky Tucker by Leslie McGurk. I can't wait to go on another book adventure. Come back to Mrs. Lindsay's Book Nook, where everyone is a reader. Be sure to subscribe. See you next time, readers.